beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's new makeup releases going on the wish list or not this is the series where every week i come back and i chat about the new makeup releases sneak peeks and announcements and we chat about whether or not i want to pick them up whether or not you want to pick them up or if we just want to add the whole the whole shebang and if you haven't been here before my name is angie hello i am a lover of fashion and makeup especially colorful things i'm a little more demure today but i love the purple lower lash line i will talk all about what is on my eyes and just a little bit, but if you haven't been there before, I would love to see you subscribe because I do upload several videos a week about makeup techniques, playing with color, and just, just having fun. Let's just have fun with makeup in 2021, shall we? So the first release that we have to talk about, obviously, is... So excited. I'm so excited to be talking about my collab with Kaleidos here on the Sunday episode on my channel. I talk about so many fun makeup releases, but nothing brings me more joy than seeing my cat in the background. Sweetie. Can mommy help you? Can mommy help you? Anyway, she's gonna have to live her best life behind us. This palette has been announced. I did a full announcement video on Friday of the Club Nebula palette between Kaleidos and me, Anielka Nyquist. This is the palette. Sorry about my cat. I mean, she's the sweetest. She's the sweetest. She just wants attention. And this is releasing on the 19th. This is... This is well used. This is the one I used. I did my look with this one today. I did a fourth look. I'm gonna have a one palette, three looks with this line on Monday the 18th and then this is releasing on the 19th. This look, I did a chatty get ready with me, I did a fourth look because I do have two more cool tone, taupey, purpley, do I want to say neutral shades? Let's go with neutral shades in this palette as well. So I did a fourth look with that and the iridescent lower lash line is this uh, like plummy purple here mixed with this very beautiful iridescent duochrome that is a blue to a purple. I obviously love this palette. If you want to see more about this palette, if you want to see swatches, hear about all of the geeky shade names like Seven of Nine, Queen of Blades, Rock Copper, and Samus, head back to my video where I'm talking all about this and I will leave it up here in the corner so you can see all the details about this palette, swatches, thoughts, release times and all that, but it will be on the 19th. I'm just so excited about this palette. It's gonna be $45 for the palette. You can also order if you want to the PR box, all of that you will see about in the video. I don't wanna linger on this too much because I did a full dedicated video on it, but I mean, this is my baby. I mean, I worked on this for <laughs> more than 50% of last year and it's finally here. I'm finally releasing it. And both me and Kaleidos, we're just so proud of this palette. It's just so me so beautiful so unique to the brand but also so fitting for the brand i'm just super excited and obviously this is the the biggest hit for me during this week and i cannot wait to see you create looks with this and if you cannot buy it don't feel like you have to on only buy it if you really feel like this is something you want to own but obviously obviously i think it's super beautiful obviously i think that you will be able to create really fun looks with this but I just had to take this first. I'm not going to linger on it too much, but obviously, obviously I'm so proud and happy about this palette. And if you want to see more info, if you want to see swatches and close-ups, like I said, the video will be here and I will also leave a link in the description box to this watch video. And just know that there are three tutorials coming with this palette tomorrow. I'm going to play with all of the colors in that. And then later on, I don't know, I'm hoping next week I'm going to have uh, this look live as well, where I did something very easy and a bit more demure with the demure, but smoky, but a bit more neutral with the actual neutral shades in this palette, because I, I wanted to include something like that as well. So you can mix it up a bit. I also wanted to announce quickly that I will not be having a new makeup releases next Sunday. You know, I talked about how I wanted to take a break in January and obviously all of this just collided with each other and it made it a bit impossible. So what I'm gonna do, because I have a lot of things pre-filmed, so what I'm gonna do is that I'm not gonna have a new makeup releases next Sunday and instead we'll have a super long episode the week after because there's probably gonna be so many things to talk about. So just know that next Sunday there's not gonna be an episode. I'm sorry, I just... I need to sleep and plan. I have so many things like backstage of this channel that I need to sort to. And I just, I need, I need to breathe a little bit. I needed to take a little breather after, because Vlogmas is so much fun. You know, you, you're like chugging on, you're filming and uploading every day and you're like, 
and it's so much fun but when you're working really hard even when it's positive stress you just need you know at least a weekend to just take a deep breath get some good sleep do something fun so i have a lot of pre-filmed things for next week the looks with this for for once and i'm just gonna skip next sunday's video so i can have like a week off and and not a week vacation but a week off from filming so i can fix all of those other things that i've been neglecting sorry this was a long and winded thing for me to say that next uh, sunday we're not gonna have a video but i'll be back the sunday after let's talk about this we talked about this uh, palette from nomad cosmetics last week and i said i thought it was going to be iceland but i was like do they really like swim all year around in iceland and i also wasn't really agreeing with the green i've been to iceland i've been to iceland twice uh, I didn't see any green, but honestly, I've only been to Reykjavik and of course a bit around, so maybe it's more green than I saw. I can't believe that I forgot that I went swimming outside in the winter, because once one time I was there in the winter, like, how could I forget that? Because you can go swimming all year round in Iceland because of the hot springs. I went swimming in one of the hot springs in Iceland. It's amazing. I went to Blue Lagoon. Like if you ever want a an extraordinary experience, something out of the ordinary, I a million percent recommend going to the Blue Lagoon in Iceland. It was absolutely incredible. It was it was incredible. Incredible. Google Blue Lagoon Iceland. It looks like it's photoshopped, but trust me, it's not. It's like milky, light turquoise water. It's absolutely amazing. Either way, all that to say that the palette was Iceland, the Nomad palette, it is available. I will link it down below in case you are interested. I opted out because like I said, I need to buy less makeup because I'm gonna do a couple of less videos now at the beginning of the year. And also, of course, and this has been a reason that I haven't really been talking about, but I just wanna give this as much focus as possible because this is my baby now i'm able to use it on youtube and not only like backstage like i have been before so obviously i'm so excited about that i do like the colors in this one they're really going with those like icy tones because iceland does have a climate pretty close to sweden so they do have a, a lot of winter and snow as well but they also have a lot of lava flows which was one of the clues uh, represented uh, by the warm colors in the middle I, this color scheme is very unique and i'm very intrigued to see uh, my friends that i know is on the nomad cosmetics pr list seeing them create some looks with this that's going to be super intriguing. Another thing that is going to be super intriguing to watch is the new release from Midas Cosmetics. They have revealed two new palettes in their Unveil series. This is like a berry one and then it's like a dark cocoa neutral one. I think that both of these are really really cool. This like cocoa one, it's like more neutral than cool tone according to me but it could be maybe more cool tone when I once I see it I like that they included that mustard shade and it goes pretty dark a lot of these neutral palettes that brands release they're so light they're so light beige and then they add one dark brown shimmer and it's, mm. so I do appreciate that this is a darker palette and the other one also goes really dark you know I like that I mean you can see that for my palette I'm personally not interested in more neutral palettes at this point but I do think that Midas makes really interesting releases so if you're interested I will leave a link to that as well down below it is available right now uh, I'm just not personally picking these up because a neutral palettes isn't for me and if I'm gonna pick a palette up for Midas it might be that little six pan uh, green palette they had that one was really really cute becca is doing some new releases this is the light shifter doing doing tint doing tint do i like that name or do i hate that name Hmm. The jury is still out. The, it's a sheer tinted moisturizer that illuminates skin with ultra dewy finish and moisturizes instantly that sounds nice and then there is the light shifter finishing veil this is like a finishing powder that's like a, a one of those and this is what I'm going to mention one of those that seems like an hourglass finishing powder and that sheer tint dewy maybe could be something like the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless filter you know that that kind of a deal so I was thinking this is I saw this and I was like oh good move Becca I was literally thinking that good move because they are moving in to a market where they could actually make a difference. Because if they are releasing 
those kind of a supermodel skin-esque products at a cheaper price than Charlotte Tilbury and Hourglass, they could really make a difference in that market. And I really hope that these become a hit for the brand. I'm actually slightly intrigued by them. Do I want to try this out? Dewy, healthy looking skin. Sheer coverage, flexible shades. I don't... Do, do you want to see this? Like, I could see myself trying this. This seems like something I would like. Are you interested? Let me know. Let me know if you're interested. I could see myself trying this. It is $30 for the tint and it's $34 for the powder. Both of them less expensive than the Charlotte Tilbury and the Hourglass. So if this is working out, that could be really cool. Uh, this is already available. I will link it down below. Let me know if you're interested. I should go look for this. There are some, a lot of things that I'm trying to say in these sentences. <laughs> Kiko Milano is releasing a collection for Valentine's. You're probably going to see a lot of Valentine's things coming up. This is the Kiko Milano Valentine's collection and it's very, very cute. I went on the Kiko Milano site and I checked for this and I will link down below where you'll be able to find the, uh, Kiko Milano. I checked for this and I was like, Huh. <laughs> huh. I looked at all of the products and none of the products individually was something that I really wanted to own. So I think I'm going to opt out of this collection. I also opted out of the holiday collection. But Kiki Milano is one of those brands that, you know, I'm always keeping my eye on them. Like when they release something that's fun, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to review it because I think that it's a fun, affordable drugstore brand. I wasn't intrigued by this. Those heart shaped things look absolutely stunning, but it's eyeshadow. If those had been glowy blushes, lovely. They do have glowy blushes though, but it was one bright pink and that's normally not what I go for. And then it is a peachy one that seems very close in color to the shade that I just bought from Kiko Milano that I really love though. I was just like, Ugh. the lipstick colors was an ultra matte. I wasn't like that into that. It's like none of these were like a hit. None of these were a thing that I was like, yes, I really want to own that. So I opted out, but maybe this is something for you. I do really like the cheek products from Kiko Milano. They have been really, really nice. The blushes, the highlighters, the bronzers, really have been enjoying those. So when I see a release that really grabs me, I will get it. This is available in Europe. I don't know if it's available in US, but I will leave a link down below. I don't know how I feel about this. This is MAC Cosmetics New Shades and the Pro Longwear Paint Pot. I mean, it is the the time the time of the dewy finishes. Like cream products are all the rage right now. So if there was ever a time to release new shades of the paint pot, I mean, I guess this is it. We are really moving into effortless makeup that is not necessarily no makeup makeup. Does this make sense? Like I see a lot of fun, like one eyeshadow look looks but not necessarily a beige, like a sky blue and a neon green. Like I see those, and maybe this could be for that. I had a paint pot that I used as an uh, eyeshadow base. I didn't dislike it. I thought it was nice. It dried out though, even though I used it every time when I did my makeup. So I feel like for a colored one, will you be able to use it even a couple times before it dries? Like, I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical, but still when I look at these shades, they look beautiful. Let me know if you're interested in seeing something with that. I don't think I'll be ordering it though, but hopefully I will be able to see some kind of review or something or some swatches or something on YouTube. I always click on videos from creators when they are featuring products that I'm like on the fence about. I'm like, oh, tell me more. Violet Boss has come out with another fun size palette. I really like the sizes of these palettes. I... Uh, I've heard so many good things about the uh, eyeshadow quality from uh, like Violet Boss, but their packaging and their ideas, they just seem very clip art 1998 and I just cannot get on board with that. Don't know why this one is called Wildflowers. This is not how the wildflowers look in Sweden at all. This is more like dried flowers. Maybe that's what they were trying to say with the scribbly text. I'm not sure. This is available at Sephora for $18. At one point, at one point in my life, I will try Violet Boss. This palette won't be it though. Uh, let's talk about the weekly Colourpop release. They are releasing two things. Uh, apparently they made a full collection of the Cloudspun palette that they had I want to say for Black Friday. I know we've talked about this palette before. Basically it is like another 
Like now they're going back because their first monochromatic palette, do you remember? That was the pink and now they're doing another monochromatic pink, but they're like, no, 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 it's pastel. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> This is my not convinced face. Either way, blushes, uh, highlighter, lippy sticks, lip glosses, all in pink. If you love pink. I mean, the qua I love the So Juicy lip glosses. I love the powder blushes from Colourpop. I love the Super Shock formula from Colourpop. I love the lips. Like, all of these are formulas, and usually I love the eyeshadow palette formula. You never know, really know, but I'm gonna try a couple of palettes that I got in. <sighs> last week because I did get a couple of my um, orders from Colourpop and I also I had two orders and I got both of them I also got did I get three PR packages or two PR packages I got a lot of packages from Colourpop so I do have a lot of things if I want to try it I love the formulas of these but I don't need more pink makeup I will say though that a bright pink so juicy lip gloss I'm not against that idea I'm not against that at all. I do really like those. I started using them again. I'm like, why did I ever stop? I love these. <laughs> Everything is forgiven. Like, I really love those. They also are releasing, I'm guessing in this whole it's pastel theme, they're introducing our pastel like dynamite cream gel color vault. Uh, th these are already available. I will link them down below. Maybe you're interested. I will say these cream pot liners. I hope they reformulate it because I did mention that as um, um, on my worst makeup of 2020 list. So if this is that same formula, I'd say save your money because um, no. <laughs> but I love the colors. I mean, who doesn't love a pastel liners? But I'm like, I kind of remember like the trauma from using that from last year, so that is not something that I'm picking up. Or maybe someone did and they can tell me that the formula has changed or not, but yeah, I don't trust Colourpop on that one. Sorry. Apparently Wet n Wild doesn't have any budget for designers this year, because this is the collection that they're releasing from for Valentine's. I could have made the design for this. Listen, you're hiring? I, I I could do this. I think I got like a B or something in art and I can do this. This font with the red heart and then the pink plastic packaging. Classy. I, this, wow, I'm not being able to form uh, proper sentences. It's just because I don't want to be a bitch, but what is this packaging? Ooh, that is questionable to say the least. Miss Piggy Pink with that font that you probably got out of freefonts.com. Uh, not a fan. And it's a mascara, lippies, lip glosses. No. I don't like how this looks. I think I think Wet n Wild would just like, oof, we promised someone to have a Valentine's collection. Ouch. Let's just make the intern work late tonight and maybe he can come up with something and this is what they got. And they're like, fine. <laughs> I don't like this collection. I think it looks as cheap as it is and there is no point in that. Here's something very interesting. I did get a sneak peek of this quite some time ago, but I didn't show it because I wanted to show you when we knew more. But this is a sneak peek from the new... Sir? New bronzers from Color Drain. They are coming up with six colors. I did get a sneak peek of them and if I find it, I will put that here as well so that you can see it. But... I think that this is very interesting. Color Drain is a black woman-owned indie brand and she always makes really incredible color ranges that will suit every skin tone. And I don't think that anyone will be disappointed in the color range of these bronzers. Just looking at this one, this looks amazing. So super intrigued to see what this is. I will say though, I don't like the plastic, the plain white plastic packaging does look like something that's like a sample from this the factory so i'm kind of hoping that's not the finished product but i'm guessing there's a risk it is not the biggest fan of the packaging but i'm very intrigued to see uh, what the product's going to be about here's another thing that i'm like this packaging is a choice and this is the makeup and murder is coming up with a new palette it's called the burner phone sure if the killer is Paris Hilton back in 2001. What is this phone? I have questions about this phone. 
<laughs> Why does this look like a kid's flip phone from like late 1990s? I just do not understand, but I do like the color story. It's bright. There's some fun mattes. There's some fun shimmer. There's a matte white and it's a nice neon leaning rainbow palette with a couple of shimmers. That packaging though, I can't get over that packaging. That packaging is a choice. A choice. MAC is doing a collaboration with Harris Reed, and this is MAC's first gender fluid makeup collection. The London based designer created a collection inspired by 70s glam rock icons David Bowie and Mick Jagger. Love that. And see this MAC. MAC, look at you. Look at you. This looks great. I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm guessing this is where all the staff went and there was no one left to work on the Mac and Sims project. And you're taking a stab in the dark, but the packaging is wonderful. Everything looks incredible. 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 That duo with the pa Oh, those cheek products, because there's a cheek duo and a cheek trio, and then there's a gold eyeliner and a nine pan palette. Looks amazing. Well done, Mac. I wish everything you released could look as well thought through and luxurious and interesting as this. That's what I'm hoping for you. Because you can't be releasing 10 collections a month and only one of them looking okay. Then just release that one. <laughs> just release that one collection, just skip the other nine, okay? There's a, literally quantity does not win over quality. I know you really like when I talk about perfume and you know that one of my favorite perfume brands is Jo Malone and they are coming out with the Scarlet Poppy Cologne. This is available now at Sephora US. I will link it down below. I haven't read the notes of this one, but I love the bottle. And if this is, if, I mean, a poppy is a floor. Listen, Captain Obvious in the building, but a poppy is a flower. And if this is a very flowery scent, it won't be for me. But if, if it's more of a green scent, more like, because poppies, at least in Sweden, they like, I am literally Captain Obvious and the entire crew, but they're like out in the wild and like maybe how it smells like, but if you can get some more green notes in this, this could be for me, but I'm going to have to go and check on this because I love Jo Malone and I love the limited edition fragrances that Jo Malone comes up with. Remember that um, weeds something something? Weeds by the river bank. I don't remember that collection. 10 out of 10. So I'm hoping for a hit. I'm going to go and check this out, but I will link it down below. Maybe you're as interested in perfumes as I am. Lord knows I don't need another perfume, but that's neither here nor there. This is a new collection from Playing in Makeup by y Yolondo. I think I've talked about this brand before. Maybe I haven't. I don't know. If this is the first time I'm talking about the brand, here we go. She's coming out with some... Six pan palettes, there are those monochromatic cap capsule palettes. Because I've been saying capsule, and someone said it's capsule. Capsule. Cap capsule? Capsule palettes, not capsule palettes. Am I saying it correctly? Listen, you give me a lot of good tips, uh, and I'm trying to take it in, because I'm in English is my second language, I'm trying the best I can. But I think it's capsule palette. Am I saying that correctly? Sorry, I won't be lingering that, because listen, I get very angry comments when I linger on words. They're like, get on with the show. These are monochromatics capsule palettes, and they look really pretty. I will say though, some of them include press glitters. I'm not all about that life, but not all of them include press glitters. I'm pretty sure that the green one does not. Um, I think that might be the only one that doesn't. So maybe, or maybe it does, I'm not sure. But I think at least a bunch of them do. I'm not sure if everyone does. When I did take a look at them, it did seem like not everyone did, but I could be mistaken. But I will leave a link to it down below. This is, I don't know if it's already available. Check the description box. I always leave links, info, prices, release dates, everything that I can find in the description box. And if you shop through my links, thank you so much for helping out my channel. But I will leave all the info I can because that post, it didn't say. I think I've saved some other posts when it does. So don't worry, I'll put the info down below. Morph is releasing another 35 palette. Wow, oh, I've been waiting oh, to add another monstrosity. This palette is a classic example of, <sighs> say it with me, edit yourself. Why is this so big? <laughs> That's what she said. But why is this so big? 
This is a classic color story of a half neutral, half colorful palette with a pop of burgundies, reds, turquoises, and mints. This could have been an awesome 12 pan palette. Awesome. Imagine, imagine three greens, three pinks, and then six cool tone neutrals and the matte white. Listen! that would have been a great color story because now let me see if I can pop up the swatches as well now when you look at the swatches there are a lot of like similar shades you don't need that you don't need that so I think it's a shame because I think the idea the color story with the cool neutral palette with pops of like turquoise mint and pink and the burgundy that's awesome why is it so big though why is okay let's leave that it's not like Morphe's listening. They're gonna have another 35 pan palette in, in no time. This is interesting. This is the lip bar. They're coming out with new lip care products, the tinted shimmer bombs, and then there are lip scrub and jo 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 juicy, juicy luminous lip serum. Those are like the tube ones, but the uh, colored one, the tinted shimmer bombs, those look really nice. They look a bit like the Linda Halberg Fantastics, which is one of my favorite lip formulas. These look really, really nice. I will try and see where you can get these and I will link them down below, but they look beautiful. $8 each for the tinted uh, shimmer bombs. That's really, really nice. Oh, and Sigma had some lip products as well. Where did I pick that? I mean, I know, I, here. This one is on its way to me. I did get a message from, I want to say FedEx, that they are delivering a package from Sigma to me. Maybe today? I'm not sure. Maybe today. This is, anyways, this is a lip care uh, collection by Sigma. This is a lip gloss, a tinted, ooh, tinted pH activated gloss. Mm, I don't know about that one. But, and then there is a lip balm, tinted pH activated I don't like that. And then there is a leave-on lip mask. This is already available. I will try these color changing lip balm, uh, pH activating lip balm thing of genius out and I will let you know in my monthly haul whether or not I thought they were worth it. They look beautiful and the packaging looks stunning. I'm gonna have to get back to you on that one but just know that these are heading my way. I'm pretty sure because Sigma said they sent me a package and this is their new release. I'm guessing that's what it is. I'm gonna let you know what I think about them in my monthly haul that's coming in the beginning of February. Okay. Okay, lip gloss is on. Ooh, that was violent. Violent. Let's talk about this one. This is from Charlie, Charlie Betty Beauty. This is a UK based indie brand. I don't know if we've talked about this. I don't think so. This is the Earth Eyeshadow Palette. It's an 18 pan pressed pigment eyeshadow palette inspired by the Earth Element. This is 28 uh, pounds and this comes in the same kind of packaging that Jeffree Star used to have in his palettes, uh, the one with the clasps. I think it's really interesting to see that kind of packaging come to other brands as well. I mean, it's not an awful packaging design and I'm, I'm intrigued to see other people have it. This is a half green, half like warm neutral palette with the pop of red. Don't hate how it looks. Let me know if you've tried the brand and you can give me some opinions about the quality because I've never heard about them before. Or did I talk about them? Listen, I've had over 150 episodes. <laughs> Things get blurry with time. Okay, let's talk about one more thing and that's gonna be the finished thing. Oh, maybe let's talk about two things. Let's talk about two things. This is a new release from Beauty Bar Baby. I'm pretty sure that this is already available. This is a neon collection containing of matching nail polishes and neon shimmer shadows. This is so cute. All of them are $13 each. They are already available and I have seen Again, this is me like scrolling through thumbnails and not actually having a time to watch people's videos, but I'm pretty sure that Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner did have these shadows. Am I correct? Or did she at least talk about them? <gasps> I think so. But she has been really on top of things when it comes to indie releases and these look so cute. So cute. I mean, a neon shimmer is a lot easier to work with than a neon matte. So yeah, I think that this is a very interesting release. Let me know if you pre-ordered it because I think the pre-order is uh, has been open or it's available. I'm not sure. 
I will leave it in the description box. I just saw that and I forgot to talk about it and I actually think that, that is a really, really cute release. Okay, this is the last thing. This is a collaboration between Beauty Creations and the Murillo Twins. I'm not familiar with them myself, but they have made a really, really cool collection that is two different palettes, one for each sister, and then there's a cheek palette in the middle. Uh, I guess that uh, that represents both of them. And then there are two different lip kits, uh, one for each sister, and then there is two different lashes, one for each sister. I think you can get the entire PR box, I'm not entirely sure, but I thought that this looked really cute, and it's fun. I mean, imagine... How, being able to do something like that with a sibling and like not, it doesn't have to be your twin but how fun or to do it with your best friend like that is so fun that must be such a dream come true so I thought it looked really cute the collection itself is a little too neutral for my liking one of them is a neutral with uh, lots of pink in it another one is a more cool tone neutrals with uh, actually quite a lot of purples and blues maybe that one isn't that neutral that's actually really, really cute. I haven't uh, tried the formula. I have no idea about how the formula is, but I thought it was a really fun release. And I just thought like how fun to be able to do something like that with your with your twin or your sister or your best friend, like the, uh, the, the, the best friendcation. Is that what it's called? The one that the um, Katie and uh, Desi did with Dose of Colors. That was also so fun. Like, Imagine how fun to do something like that. And that's gonna be it, that's gonna be it. I am actually pre-filming this video a little earlier than I usually do. I usually film these on Fridays, but there's a lot of things going on this week. So I had to pre-film a little bit so that I'm not entirely overwhelmed by this whole situation that's going on. But I am like, I'm having the time of my life. Thank you so much for being here if we're enabling me to be able to do something as fun as this palette together with Kaleidos. You have no idea how much that means to me. I am of course going to be uploading a bunch of videos next week. I'm just not going to have a Sunday video. Uh, I'm going to take an extra day to just hang out with my husband, play some video games and just enjoy myself because it takes a really long time to get these videos fixed and I love doing them. Don't get me wrong. I just need a little breathing space. But thank you so much for being here. I will see you tomorrow in my One Palette 3 looks. And even though I will not be uploading next Sunday, I will still be here reading and answering comments. And <sighs> thank you again so much. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you tomorrow in a new video. Bye.